Here's a little tip I found very helpful in some situations. You could apply it in the end of the piece flow, for example, which has a marking at a soft volume of rubato and from a distance. That's a different effect than was called for previously in the piece. And the from a distance to me says that he wants a different type of sound there, not just softer, but a different type of sound, more room sound perhaps in the mix. I'll demonstrate that for you. I'll play it first, standing in the normal position, the way I would be facing the microphone, which is not too far away, and that works well on a piece like flow, but sometimes it works well just to record yourself in general. Now, to create that from a distance effect, I'm going to turn the bell that way, much more toward the back of the room. And that will create the effect I think the composer wants. And as I said, I've, I've used this in other pieces as well. There was a Philip Spark hymn that I played recently that called for a very soft opening section and then not much louder as it went on. But it seemed like that soft section was scored with very little piano behind it. And in that case, I did turn the bell much further from the microphone to help not overpower the piano and to balance just the tonal quality better of the piano. And then for the rest of the piece, I played in my normal position. So it's, it's useful in many different contexts. See if you can hear the difference. Another benefit of doing that is I don't have to play as softly perhaps, or I don't have to try to really underplay the horn in order to get a softer kind of effect. So it's something to keep in mind. It's no more work for the player, which is a good thing about it. It just requires a little pre-thought so you can position yourself in the music stand or memorize the passage where you want to turn that far away from the music stand. See if that works out for you. I think it's a good tip. Thanks for listening. <laughs>